are you for the series? I'm actually quite intrigued in all honesty. This is one of those games that I was not expecting uh, to happen uh, at this a certain point of time. Obviously, Leviathan uh, just started playing yesterday after a, uh, quite a long time of preparation, and Kali has had a few games. Both of these teams find themselves at the bottom of this group stage. But like I said, Leviathan has uh, has only played a single game, losing 2-0 in an attempt to defeat Beast Coast. But Kali, despite not looking too hot, they are a team that managed to get a map off of the undefeated Beast Coast. So it's going to be interesting to see how this best of three will unfold. Uh, Kali here. Or even two to oh, probably a playoff spot if they do so. And looking at the draft here, we got the last run of the Clockwork Wax. And what on this matchup. Mm -hmm. Matchup. Well, it's a it's a back and forth one. I obviously think the clockwork is a really good uh, a punisher on lane. If assuming Please. this will be a position five with the battery assault, uh, zoning out another melee uh, hero in the form of the brewmaster. Uh, the hoodwink support has been a staple of EPL Americas thus far. Everybody seems to love this hero, especially when the likes of Shadow Demon and Disruptor are banned. But I gotta bring this up to your attention, my friend. Disruptor is banned, so is Chen and Batrider, but Shadow Demon still in the pool, not contested just yet. Five seconds How does he even being like left alone is a little bit one team is a bit of a poison apple here from maybe in good against the clockwork at Leviathan where pick it up as well, and it offers us addition to that. Leviathan here they're looking to pick or round. Yeah, most certainly it would be something that uh, they get. Uh, Clockwork and Hooding already showing the hands of the supports of Kali, um, who would also have overall last pick. So La Laviathan, I assume they will need to show us something here. What do they want to pair up with this Brewmaster, or what do they have in the safe lane? It's going to be Dark Willow. Wow, we haven't seen Dark Willow in a while. Um, this used to be a hero that I was expecting Leviathan to play due to their former comp before bringing, uh, I believe, Stinger is the one that has uh, joined the team and, uh, you know, the news of the recent events. But, yeah, or maybe Zephyr. Zephyr or Stinger um, you know, would run the Dark Willow. Maybe a position four. I think I prefer Dark Willow position four. What about you? Uh, I am a big fan of four and a bigger fan of Ventral five. I think Ventral five. I agree. One of those heroes that is just completely slept on and sort of as a, yeah. as a whole in an EPL. And we'll look at the stats here because, of course, check out our sponsor page, cyberscore.com, for any stats, any information you want about this other series Five happening around the remaining. world. Dota, you can check it out again, cyberscore.com. Thank you. Sponsoring it. The stat of bringing up the page, the page link, get picked up five times in South America, and won four of those games. So, very. Good hero that just doesn't seem to fly a day waxing. No, I have to agree with you. Uh, I love Vengeful. I play lots of Vengeful currently, but I had to ask you, what are your thoughts of this rapid fire draft coming in from Kali? They have not wasted a single second of reserve time to pick up this Doom Luna. Yeah, they uh, they are pretty content. I think they had a plan coming. Draft the Doom. Ten Obvious seconds guy. remaining. Don't let him spoil. What happens and. Well, I, your Luna, the Clockwork, and the Makador fights Leviathan. Have to sort of find an answer to what. Uh, I would have normally said Razor, but we're not. We don't really see Razor mid as much as we see off lane. Kanka has been one of the other heroes that has been a lot contested over the last few days. Yesterday we saw KP play a great Kanka, but his hero is already picked. Uh, oh, it will oh, be the Razor. Okay, see? Top tier analysis right here, only on EPL World Series Americas, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, this is the only place you can go waxing right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, true. Uh, yeah, Razor, uh, it's great. It's an amazing hero. Uh, one of the highest win rates uh, cores in competitive tier 1 Dota. 
obviously, I say this quite often, I think it with a pinch of salt is because Falcons is running Razor and they're winning pretty much every yeah. match. So it, it might be a bit scuffed, uh, but I think it's great here. Um, Clockwork wants to jump on top of you. It gives Razor a target to just link to. Doombringer, although fast, Razor can catch up to his speed. Luna is, is a ranged hero, but not traditionally the longest ranged uh, position one you can get. So Razor just deals nicely with all of that and the eventual Manta illusions coming in from Luna later. That anti carry carry that we all know and love gets on top of those targets and makes it so they can't really do twice. But Leviathan also Ten kind of needing a little bit more to round out their team fight, if I can. But five seconds, you want a pair, better pairing with Dark Willow. Yeah, out another circle kind of help that fear out. Maxon, I'm not sure what kind of hero they I think the plan actually is uh, Brewmaster Primal uh, Split. Uh, Dark Willow throwing the Bedlam on the uh, on the no, I actually think on the Intelligence Panda. Uh, you know the one that goes invis and uh, goes really f uh, walks really fast, yeah. and that way you get damage from invis. I think this is. I mean, I've not seen this before. But I think it's, uh, you know, I'm theory crafting for something new. We also have Kali, still afraid of the Kanka. Like I said, Leviathan pulled that yesterday. And despite losing, uh, they looked great with the Kanka. So they, that will be banned alongside the Dragon Knight. Um, not a lot of reserve time for Leviathan. They will have to ban and show their fir hand first as... Uh, yeah, 10 seconds on the clock. Position oh, I 1. I, th I think we're looking at position 1, right? Uh, I would... Radiant team team pick. Oh, Spirit. I saw this yesterday, actually, the Ember Spirit. Now, I don't know what it is about Dota, but the Ember Spirit is like a, a fire that never burns in the hearts of Dota players out there. It just always seems to keep crawling back no matter what. Ten seconds remaining. I'm... I don't like this. I, I don't really, I really don't like this at all, to be completely honest with you. Ember Spirit for, into a Doom. Yeah. Yes, okay, maybe not the most reliable lockdown from the rest of the lineup. But you've given Doom an even better target to Doom other than the Brewmaster. I don't... Like, Let's see what Kali will respond to with here. Basically, the options either Primal is out, and if Primal... Then you can always Doom. Maybe not the best play, but I guess Leviathan looks... Both look... Back down to the... Yeah, this also tells me that the Razor was a bit of a steel pick because uh, Razor mid just trumps the Ember Spirit. But with that being said, there's still a lot of really strong matchups that we have seen uh, in the current patch that could probably dominate this Ember. I'm, I'm even thinking of a Wind Ranger here or a Lina. I know Wind Ranger is more played as a position one, but yeah. I think she would be happy to trade lane with an Ember. Oh yeah, well I don't I hate Keeper of the Light mid, please don't pick it. Kuroki, get it, out of my server. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mid we've seen like eight eight hundred times to tournament. I wouldn't be surprised that again as well. I, I They've played tiny mid. No, they haven't. No, that was a support tiny. I'm looking at what Kali has ran before. Okay, it doesn't matter. We'll see it in a second. It's gonna be the Earthshaker. Um a few uh, it's been played. Twice, I think even Leviathan played it yesterday, and it didn't look good. It might not have been Leviathan. I might just put him on blast for no reason, um, but it did not look good. Uh, what, who, who are we taking here, my friend? Because I've got my thoughts, but I don't really know yet. Boxing, I just think that the same. The huge question mark I have for the Leviathan guy. I haven't really done anything to up and. I mean. <laughs> Bundle everybody up together. You have to bring a fake clamps. I'm a huge. Imp. I'm not gonna lie. I love this hero. Every time I see yep. this hero play, I'm like, give me Echo Slams. I gotta pick Kali for this. Yeah, draft wise, they seem to have the more reliable tier one carry. Everybody runs the Luna. I don't really. And we see lots of Razor, but not really position one Razor. I, I assume he will take more of the... Sammy Boy will take the role of space making and try to maybe force Stoikov in a position of dealing more damage with the Ember Spirit. And I think this is going to be my biggest question mark. In all honesty with you, my friend, yesterday, Leviathan looked good. 
at points, but Stoikov didn't get to have a game in either of those games. So now maybe going for something that is slightly more of a comfort pick for him is what I want to see. If he can make this Ember Spirit work, Leviton is winning this, but draft-wise, I think Kali has the advantage. Coming into this game, coming up for both teams. We get a collision here, but my friend walks in. What are we looking at plans for both teams? What do Kali need to do? And what can Leviathan do to counter? I think it's definitely going to be about tempo. Uh, Leviathan does not have any ultra late game uh, hero, in unless this Dark Willow somehow turns into throwing meteors at you later on with her agonims. Uh, so they, they have a timer on the, on the clock. They need to do something if they want to come on top of this one. Uh, quick, I, I would say even pre-minute 30, they might need to win this and they don't really have the tower takers if you're looking at the lineup i guess razor with the eye of the storm at one point uh will maybe start melting through the towers but that he needs at least a level 12 for that to be completely efficient okay uh, getting levels getting that goal definitely 30 seconds both to teams their game plans and again this is an incredibly important series for Polly and leviathan at this point of the stage group stage every single win matters and Kali looking here Get an extra two points. This is a beautiful ward of wax, and Leviathan have the option to I love take it, this yeah. engagement if they want to. They're pinging Adrian. Yeah, and Kali, if they lose this one, they're out of the tournament, I gotta say. So, this first blood that is about to go in their favor, blood grenade frying in. Yeah, Ugh. Adrian can walk away, but he's gonna lose all of that health. Give the damage to Razor to pump a little bit more into Pamplona. Good start for Leviathan. They get how many runes? <laughs> Waxen, they got all four bounty runes, my friend. Yeah, you didn't get the first blood, but you did force uh, uh, all of the tangles from the Doombringer. Oh, he had no tangles to begin with, never mind. Yep. Uh, but yeah, four bounties will be crucial to start off. We got a bit of a pause, but we're going to jump in back straight into it. And like I said, this is what we you want if you're a Leviathan fan. You want them to start taking early lead and four bounties to kick it off. It's going to be just a correct thing. But look at this. Two supports at bottom and Stinger's about to get caught by surprise. Yeah. This is a squishy vengeful spirit and he's dead. I don't oh. think he has a chance of surviving. No, that ain't going to there. Somebody, uh, I don't think he was expecting got, the, real the rotation from... 555 five, out into the bottom lane. I mean, that's the power of the clock where he's really hitting pickoffs if you find isolated touch. Yeah, definitely not. And uh, we are having the. Uh, well, you got the four bounty runes, you gave away the first blood. It's a pretty much back to even. Now, what do you think about this top matchup? Well, we spoke about how this Luna doesn't really have the longest range, and Brewmaster can pretty much bull you out of the lane. Do, do you think uh, Dad will be fine here? Yeah, I think Dad should be okay. It's a Luna after all. You just get a couple levels, and then you're anyway. But five, five, and I mean, Clockwork is a pretty good support as well. Now that he's dying, they got the Ramble Maze on onto him. He's gonna have to walk out, and but I mean, he's got five tanks. In mid lane, we have uh, Faker and Stoikov uh, just trading last hits. Uh, another creep wave will be heading under the tower of Faker. Uh, let's see if he can get every single one of them. Obviously, that enchant totem. Ooh. Oh. No. Okay, only a single deny. Yeah, yeah only one deny. Not going to be that damaging. Oh, but I mean, uh, Maxon, this is pretty air shake. I would say so. I mean, that's what I was expecting when I saw that. And I have to be honest, uh, I, I know in tier one play, uh, the teams team to fa tend to favor first pick, but I definitely noticed uh, last overall pick uh, in EPL has definitely proven to be the better choice for the teams I've had the pleasure of casting thus far. Uh, that last pick has been pretty good. Team EPL region have been doing a great job. Not as much of a good job as KP. And this Dark Blue top lane down. He's gonna have to fall in here. The Cinder Bird coming through with the Blood Grenade as well. Gonna be enough to take him down. 5 5 5. But in the middle of the creep wave, they're just gonna trade right close with each other. And Zephyr and KP getting that crucial kill onto the Luna. As expected, like I said, Luna not the longest range. She has to get quite close up in personal with the Brewmaster, so she will get a lot of damage. And then when she gets low enough, low enough she just gets bursted. So much damage. And the, the bottom lane, not a lane we haven't talked about a lot. It's the Doom. I don't think Doom and Razor are about each other, so about oh, getting lost. 
Yeah, but middle and mid, look at Faker. Stoikov are down to 54 HP. We'll yeah, have to pop the Fury Fire. Beautiful Fisher. The rotation from Pamplona. One right click gets the kill. Why don't you give it to Faker? But we'll take it nonetheless. Beautiful. Oh, but female body. You left Adrian alone. And out of the tower dive. Getting the kill out of the offlane as you're trading the mid for the offlane. Very back and forth game from Carl Axon. Well, I think that's a trade you take any time of day. If you're the side of calling, your Doombringer will come back in later on with a Devourer, whereas if you shut down an early an Ember Spirit... Finger is very close to dying. Pamplona's gonna try to go underneath this tower, but Samson has a second kill in this lane. Or, I guess okay. second kill. Yeah, well... Yeah, one kill is all right. Two kills maybe a bit too much, giving that to Sammy Boy. Uh, let's see. That's gonna be a big creep wave, and he'll have to tank. Uh, and he's still doing it. He wants to deal, use the plasma field as well. Oh my goodness, Adrian oh. taking so much damage from that static link. A hundred stolen attack damage at level three. It's Giant better than a DD rune. It's like a triple damage rune. Yeah, TD rune. TD rune. Uh, but they don't have that much. Okay, they're still a Lotus for the Vengeful Spirit. It's fine. Uh, I was about to say Sam Sammy Boy tanked a lot there, but he will be fine. He'll now secure the last hits. Yeah, good, good round, a good uh, laning phase from Sammy Boy. We saw that even in their first matchup yesterday. Uh, I'm just curious to see if they can actually convert it throughout the mid game later on. As in mid, Faker was kind of bullying Stoikov away from the creeps. And yeah, dude. He has 14. They're diving nice. down bottom, by the oh, way. Oh, bottom, yeah, Hoodwink. They're just underneath this tower. Adrian trying his best. One more right click, won't do it. And Razor gets another double kill, basically, with the help of the tower. He's about to get the courier kill as well. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Hampson is popping off this game. See, I just mentioned that before we take a qu took a quick look in mid. Um, Stinger had a look. Oh, with the cogs on the KP, they're trying to preparation here some damage. Oh, if I thought they were harassed there. Uh, it's a clockwork stanky, the brewmaster as well. They're not gonna die that easy. But no, the reason uh, the well, turnaround. There's the play, sorry. We cut down the tree, Stoikov. Like a little bit too good for Kali, but the right clicks are coming through. He's Baker chasing him and chasing him down in the enchant totem will enchant hit mountain. They get a kill oh. top as well, that barely falls, and bottom Adrian dies as well, Sam, I mean, there's happened, there's blood being spilled all over the map wax, and it looks like it's all his blood that's being spilled. Yeah, a lot of plays, I, I would even go as far as seeing a, a few, quite a few misplays from Kali, despite how, um, how well Faker is playing in mid, if you're sacrificing both of your side lanes in the process, this Earthshaker can't really... Uh, pull you through the mid game later on. Now, he, Baker is gonna build into. Dagger build it. Oh, the Aghanim Scepter. The play into this bottom area. They want, they want Samson. They want him now. There might be a fish room. However, they're gonna lead. They're gonna lead with the big old Echo Slam. My friend, you cannot eat that many creeps. Plus an enchant totem, they get a kill finally, but this is kind of giving space for Flickdog. It was a well needed kill though, that we have the top network charge for the oh, Earthshaker up top, we've got a stun. Oh well. yeah, there's going to be a center for here as well, the clock coming through that. Go with the two man stun, and Zephyr here, they're turning around to understand you're trying to get the kill, and they will. And now Zephyr dies as well, 5 by 5 helping with the return two kills, but that's two supports for the carry. Two for one. Sadly, you lost your carry once again, but the gold swing, uh, the, hide fi the fight recap looks uh, quite favorable for Kali. And um, they were down five kills now, only two single kills behind, and the Faker is topping the network chart. Now, to answer your previous question, I was actually hoping he would go for the Aghanims first, but he does seem to have the blink in the quick buy. Oh my goodness. Bottom lane, Adrian, dude, you show in the lane and you get run down by Samson. Oh, okay, this is a this shot is a down completely and new. Five by five. Uh, you're dead as well. Okay, wow. okay, this razor is a problem for Kali. They've got to answer this guy somehow. Okay, rune up top. Let's see the uh, or shaker. 
We'll use the fissure, but the Ember Remnant will go down bottom and get the amplified damage. And now, uh, underneath this tower, Faker didn't get hit with the stun. They go he needs forward a TP. as well. They want a little bit more. Yeah, he needs help from his teammates. He needs an ambulance or something. Ambulance won't save his life. He dies on the ride home. Toy Dog. I don't need this tower still to get the kill on his doom again. Bottom. Adrian cannot help but feed his life away. Five deaths this game at eight minutes. Dyer's bottom tower is under I'm quite attack. confused. About what's happening right now, I'll be uh, completely honest with you. Why is Adrian uh, keep going without your doom? Just go in jungle, find a level one camp, devour one of the creeps. He currently has no devoured ability, which uh, is minute nine, and he's that used it twice at least done. already. Yeah. Uh, now Dad is gonna get dove behind the tower by the KP Brewmaster. Panel does have army is there, and Dad. My friend, uh, I don't know if you can really do anything to save yourself here. There's another rock that's going to get thrown. That's still trying to get into that neutral creep. And the beautiful body blocking coming up from the primal split as well. One more stun, and he's just straight up dead. Oh, there's a crew coming through. Dad went down. KP went right. Duking and diving through the trees. But no, eventually, Dad still falls. There was a slight assist from Harpy, now a dive in mid from Sammy Boy. Uh, Faker's gonna just TP it away. Whoa, oh no! No, he's not. They ping out the ward immediately. 555 five, five, trying to look for a little bit more, attack. but. But 2v4 here in this mid lane, they really want this tower on the Viator. They need their level 6s on the Hoodwink and the Doom. They'll have them in just a few creeps, but as we look down bottom, the rotation's happening, the TPs are flying in. And Adrian, don't turn around, just oh, go back. Okay, that is here for assist though. That Doom, I, I mean, Dad is barely level 6 himself. Just look at the numbers here, and it's a sad story for Kate, uh, for Polly. Hoodwink is taking quite a bit of farm, but the Doom barely above him and barely above the Doom. Dyer's uh, top tower is under attack. Faker will have his Blink Dagger flying in, but no Echo Slam for 60 seconds, and uh, yeah, it might just be a slightly too early Blink, but now bottom, Sammy Boy. And he, he's looking for a little bit more. He's ever trying to find that angle. Does have level six. They have to Dyer's they top have tower is under touch attack. everything. Ten seconds. Boy, Radiant's with the smoke and the blink attack. echo. Echo Sam, if he wants to use it, he's not going to use it. He's instead just going to try to stun up. Stun for as much as he can, but doesn't get the kill. Tower does fall to dad. The Radiant's blink reveal doesn't turn into a kill. Waxen, but you... Hook shot Hook shots. With Stinger. Will die. And I mean, yeah, you got... Yeah, you, you know, you got the ward. Opium. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of baited two out of two ultimates, and the reason we didn't see an Echo Slam is because it's still in cooldown for 10 seconds, so the next rotate, which is happening right now up top, onto Sam's if boy, might just be crucial if you can stop him from getting hey, his mouth of Doom. Wow. Up, drop the Doom out onto Brewmaster, they want this kill. I mean, he's getting burned down, the rocket will miss, hit Brewmaster, die. Before the Doom expires, a nice turn around room from Stoikov, and the Primal does, is available. That split is going to be a problem, not as much of a problem as the stunts coming up for Faker. Wow, they get the kill on the Razor, and they're turning around onto the back line. Stoikov, he is caught in a little bit of no man's land. They get the Empress Chains, and onto Earthshaker with the Bedlam as well. Faker, you cannot afford to die. You're doing the same as Grace Akali, and you can't be safe yourself as the grace of the grave will take your life. Another trade going towards Leviathan, but 500 gold, only a 360 gold swing in their favor. Uh, taking out the Razor was really, really important there. I believe the next target that Kali should have should be uh, KP's Brewmaster. Oh, Dad, bottom once Never again. Mind. I've seen this before, Dad. You went Who's to catching who? I mean, you went to the grocery store to get cigarettes, not milk, and you still did come back even though you rise to buy your purchase. Kick double using the chat. Uh, as we now have the top three net worth uh, heroes from the Radiant. Leviathan feeling very comfortable. We are about to have the uh, Radiance and 500 gold for the Brewmaster. Um, Maelstrom will be completed on Sammy Boy after one more last hit. This Ember, not too far off from his Maelstrom, has an Arcane bottled up. And um, 
Yeah, Leviathan is hitting every timing that they want, and the next three to four minutes are going to be crucial if you are Kali fan. Do they survive what's about to come their way? Oh, five, five, five. Might have just broken the smoke, except he didn't. Wasn't too, wasn't far enough forward, and there's a guy, there's a poor boy up top that's gonna eat a smoke gank that can't afford to. Nope, never mind. Five, five, five. Well, hook shot, hook shot up to the creep wave, but he's not the target. Instead, this doom. That's died six times so far this game, Wax, and Adrian can't catch a break, but he can keep catching these hands. The turnaround, right? The slam! Inside the three, in the middle of the great wave, and Kali will not stand for this. They're saying, my boy, Adrian, you've suffered enough. We're here to help you. And the sharpshooter from the back will miss, but Zephyr, it doesn't matter anyway. Zephyr will die. I cannot believe the echo slam coming up from Kali. They finally get something in this early game. And that is the power of the Earthshaker. And like I said, Kali had a couple of minutes that they really had to offset the barrage that was about to come from Leviathan, and they did that successfully. But now, the big items will be flying in, and we still have the Eye of the Storm. We still have an Ember Spirit that is about to get his Maelstrom. So despite what was a great kill, um, well, turn around from Kali. They only managed to get 1,500 gold back, and now they're trying to get stay alive. But oh my goodness, Faker blinks back. Stoikov is chasing though. Stoikov really wants this kill. He's got that history as well. And there's oh my god, Adrian, dude, you're either bait at this point or you want to die. I can't tell. Swap out. He has Doom available. Is he gonna use it? He's trying to use the Doom out on the Ember Spirit. They're gonna try to wow. look for Adrian. I mean, use this accepting the fact that his life is he's alive. No, it's not. He's forward to the life of Razor instead. And now, Dad, he's come in. I mean, Kali have decided to bundle up his five to try to mitigate the advantage from Leviathan. They have not adjusted well to the pressure of the Radiant. Okay, this is the moment when we need some objectives. Kali has managed to get two skirmishes back to back as we have the clockwork will sacrifice his life as Stoikov and Zephyr will claim his life. But if you're Kali, you've managed to get two back to back huge skirmish victories, you need to convert it into some sort of objective. But you're not you don't you're not pushing mid, you're not pushing top, and the T1 bottom has fallen. It's a bit it's a bit too slow. Baker is five two and five so far. I mean, he has had an incredible performance with some of the Echo Sound. Yeah. Some of these rotations. Boxy, do you think they can really keep up this pressure from Kali and, and sort of counter initiate, or do you think Kali at some point need to push an objective? Dad has completed his Yasha on the Luna, but so far not, well, definitely not as far as you'd like to have your uh, Luna at minute 16. Uh, yeah, no, even so the Doombringer is struggling so much plate, like this Hoodwing is about to catch up to him, especially as Pamplona is, uh, has Maelstrom flying in right now. Yeah. I mean, a big reason why see, we see pick up this position for Hoodwink, it's kind of like a second core. I mean, I guess a second carry, a fourth core. That does mean 555 will get absolutely no money to his name, so he's just gonna have to buy a four staff and accept the fact that's probably gonna be his only item for the Boy top, oh beautiful rocket player spotting out that rotation up onto the ramp. Slow and steady wins the race, but like I said, Leviathan cannot be that slow. I will have a Tempo that will run out in about 20 or 25 minutes, so they need to start using this Radiance. KP has had it for a few minutes, already building towards his travel boots. He's about to actually have it after killing the triangle once again. And we have the smoke. Oh, the sharpshooter. Not that sharp if I shot that one. A bit dull for my taste. They don't want 555. Five. We see three of the Leviathan heroes being smoked up. They're trying to find Adrian yet again, but they might be unlucky and they might run into Faker. Oh, he might be using Wave as bait here. But it's a smoke in the back line, and they are going to find Adrian eventually. I want to go right now. They make the call to go left because it's Faker and the creep. Wow, wave. this is going to be very dangerous. Yeah, I think Faker, you have to. You don't even have Blink, and the turnaround from behind. Faker was not expecting this. You can't fake your way out of this one, and you of course are gonna die here. There's a big kill coming out from Leviathan. 
It will only be a single casualty, but it's a big one. Faker, the one that has. He's doomed up as well. There's gonna be the return for kill. But Zucker with the fear on to two. The sharpshooter will land. I don't think the damage is gonna take over from Doom. The rocket player as well, not gonna be enough. Brewmaster survives the onslaught. Yeah, in the end, you lost a hero and then you blew up a lot of your utilities or the other one. KP hasn't even had the primal beast split forced out, so he'll continue farm away, then he'll TP to connect with his team using the travel boots. It's only a 2k gold deficit, but I, I have to be completely honest with you, chat. I think Leviathan's advantage is way higher than what uh, the network chart uh, feels right now. It's, it's just about map presence, map pressure. Leviathan had that in spades. And it feels like whenever Kali want to go into a lane that's even remotely dangerous, there's going to be at least three heroes from the Radiant on top of them. And this is really forcing Dad into uncomfortable farming areas, and Kali don't have the space to wax him. Yeah, definitely. Um, this map, the map has been completely squeezed out of resources by Leviathan, but look at it. Oh, Hadrian got smoked up and blinked in to yeah, break the smoke instantly. Doom. I don't think he cares about smoke. Fair, fair. Well, let's see if they can catch KP, although this is a big target to kill without the Doom. Uh, I don't I don't know if this is a target you can kill. Honest. I'm... Yeah, I don't think so. It, when he's Cinderbrood up with the Drekken Brawler going, I mean, he's good friggin' luck, man. Radiant are scanning. Yeah, KP just shows himself to the lane. He's full of confidence. They, if he knows the Doom's in cooldown, he knows he's not dying. Uh, in mid, Adrian, uh, one creep away from getting level 12, so second level in Doom will be really strong, but Stoikov really wants some of the smoke and he's gonna connect with the ceiling chains only to show his presence. Oh, the game has slowed down immensely. Do you think this is a decision for Viatin to just throw items on the like, fight, or do you think Kali did a really good job of negating a lot of the early you're a bit afraid you were waiting to get your items you might even want to position uh, yourself in a way of getting the reverse roshan and like i said their timing is coming when the kali might turn this game around but it's definitely not anytime soon if you're looking at net worth and leviathan still has plenty of tools uh, uh, that they want to get their hands on before making some of these big plays you don't want to throw away your early lead Are you gonna you're probably throwing away the Dark Willow here, Top. I mean, you farmed a uh, camp that is, you know, illegal to farm with no backup. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting positioning, Zephyr. Yeah. Uh, with a rare mistake, <laughs> uh, especially thus far, he's played very well in this Dark Willow. Getting caught, I su uh, surprise, I suppose. I said, I don't even know. Adrian has a shield rune. Stoikov still farming away, stealing some creeps, pushing the wave, spots dad in the triangle. And uh, slow and surely, this Luna is now second in XP on the server. Third, actually, after Sammy Boy and KP. But look at the Tormentor. Uh, it will be collected first by Leviathan, which for me is a sign that they will be the ones winning this match. Uh, really? It's, I wonder what the stats are. The team at first. Is, like, what is the win? What is the win rate of teams that have gotten the Tormentor first? Well, I think, especially when you have a Dark Willow Vengeful, uh, you you want to get your shards. Uh, the Vengeful will be quite sad, because I think her shard is slightly stronger than the Dark Willows. Uh, but nonetheless, it's going to give them even more lock potential in team fights. But Kali, Kali has other plans, and I think they might be onto something. They want to push the bottom lane, they want to have control, and maybe the high ground on a potential Roshan fight. You have good shards, and your shard is, like... Barely worse than Dyer's the alternative. Her, both Gris Crown and that Magic Missile Shard offering so much AOV control into these fights really lock down some close, which Aluna doesn't have the biggest uh, attack range, so you're effectively playing against three frontliners. And there's a smoke play out of the back line. Doom, he's the target. The Bedlam is coming out as well. I mean, Adrian, you are dead, my friend, and you're 0-7 now. But you've kind of not died in a while, so I guess that's good. Sure. Yeah, let's yeah. let's let's go with that one. Yeah. I, I, I don't. Opium. <laughs> we 
have a BKB on this Earthshaker, which hasn't been used. Nine second BKB, uh, also 2700 gold, getting himself closer towards his next item, which seems to be an Orchid. And I love the resurgence of Orchid over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. I really think this item has been undervalued for so long. Uh, the attack speed component is... Uh, has, I mean, it's been added over a year now, and I feel like players have overlooked it, and now they realize how strong this item can actually be. But is it going to be too late, as Sammy Boy almost has his BKB oh, hookshot flying in? Yeah, they're going to... They, do they have a Doom available onto this Brewmaster? No, they're just going to try to... They do. Oh, they do, yeah. My question got answered. I thought it's did pretty use it, but it did. Five, 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 trying to get a little bit of more vision with that four staff. He's going to die here. Maybe extended a little bit too far forward. Nobody from Kali wanted to come back. Curious what's about to happen next. Uh, now that you've lost your uh, Brewmaster, KP still level 15, so he'll respond very swiftly. Uh, now, you lost your Brew, which is not the best thing that could have happened, but the Doom was uh, used, which is going to allow Stories to have even more space on the map. And we've seen him just splitting around, pushing the lanes in. He's doing a, quite a good job thus far, although not the most flashy plays. He's, do, he's playing this Ember Spirit in a way you used to play Tinker, just uh, yeah. tipping around, moving back and forth. He doesn't have a tr travel boots, but he's just phasing around, clearing the waves and making more space for, for his Razor. And he's going to pick up a little bit more AOE control for his team as well. Getting that BKB. Oh, not the BKB. Friggin' holy smokes. Uh, he was building, um... Uh, is, uh, I mean, Hornwick is dead, so... I'm glad that happened. We can get off of... Me remove... <laughs> Forgetting the name. I'm so flustered, Waxen. Maelstrom upgrades into an item, and he was building that instead. I am. We all near Glavenir? Yes, what near? Uh, F555 will use the jetpack trying to run away, but I think Sammy Boy is about to dive as the Hushock's coming in very nicely from the clockwork. Uh, meanwhile, the Earthshaker has his completed uh, Orchid Malevolence already, and I think this upcoming team fight might just be gonna dictate what the pace of the reminder of this mid game will be. Light and their gold lead has shrunk. Kali are setting up outside of their base. All three cores for Kali in one place. Level 18 on the Luna. That's going to be three points in Eclipse. No BKB for the Brewmaster. KP, if you get doomed, you're blowing up. We saw it happen about two minutes ago. Is it going to happen again? And yes, I think look it's at Adrian. Yeah, yeah, they... Doom. Everything is used out here. They don't even need to use the Eclipse. Dad, Pumpy got that damage with the Moonblade shard as well. They get the tower with the help of the Earthshaker. Kali, I think they brought this not just to Equilibrium, but now they're applying pressure onto the map. Yeah, KP, and again caught by surprise. It's not looking too very good. Like, I praised him a lot for his performance yesterday, but now uh, the fact that he got caught off guard, no BKB, uh, sorry, no buyback, that's going to be the first Roshan. Minute 26 going towards Kali. Uh, you you see Eclipse Pog? Dude, they're popping Eclipse with this as well, but everybody from Leviathan knows they pop, They use that scan. They're 555, he's gonna do everything he can to stop this from getting picked off. Makes a little bit of space, he's still rooted, he's gonna rock a player, so they do end up seeing everything. And Wink up going in, he wanted the edges, but he missed it. The Hookshot is gonna whip as well, and Faker, he gets the kill, he's gonna try to keep the out of there, and he does! He actually got out of there! He got the kill out of the Mental Spirit! Adrian is long trying to DP up, but the fear is going to land, and he won't die, so at least one person dies, but you get the Aegis and you basically get out. Holly are going to take this and run. I think you said something brilliant about uh, 15 minutes ago, played, and it's, uh, it's the fact that uh, this team could have been a support. <laughs> And not to single out Adrian, obviously, uh, he's doing everything in his power, and he has uh, had some great dooms to get the kills on KP, but uh, he's been completely shot down, which uh, shows me that Leviathan has practiced quite a fair bit versus the Doombringer if they know how to play around it so well to abuse and uh, take him out completely. Baker, you're, you cannot be caught like this. The Bedlam is doing so much damage. Nice play to try to get up, but it's an Earthshaker, my friend. I don't think you can get away from this guy, and you're going to get hit with the root as well. In the back line, you did end up losing this clockwork as well. It just seems like everything has just gone sideways for 
Poly ever since they got the eight, the Roshan. The Aegis of Immortality won't help that here. Uh, Samson, he's popped the BKB. They want to go in. They need to claim the Sages. They do have the uh, BKB as well. Adrian, he has good. Doom on, or I mean, off cooldown. Are you going to even try to use the BKB for Luna? No, you're just going to accept the fact that you're dead. The Primal split up onto the high ground. Adrian, you're tossed up into the air. Nice blink timing. Um, the Luna used the BKB before losing oh. Aegis. Yeah. Question okay. marks in the chat? Question marks in the chat? I don't have eyes. It, it, it all started. It, I understand what happened there. So, uh, obviously, Doom has a horrendously long cooldown. And oh, as I say that, Adrian I mean, is about to be dead again. Doom has a hilariously long, I mean, high death count. Nice to around the bench with the swap, giving himself a little bit of the shield. They're kind of playing yes. side of this fight. The miss, nope, not going to be enough. They get the bench, but the KP has arrived. Faker, you do have a BKB. Are you going to use it? You're going to have to. They get the gym out onto this Brewmaster. I mean, you're going to pay for your sins. Spoikov now in the middle of everybody. 555 getting cogsing up Samson. But Faker, okay. you're gonna die here. You can silence Ember as much as you want. It does nothing to right clicks and 555 five, five out on the side with the rocket for us. Not gonna be quite enough. Samson looking for a little bit more. Maybe they turn around with Kali. They don't have any spells though. But Adrian hookshot. setting up the hook shot. What a beautiful play into the eclipse. That's the Kali we know. Beautiful team play coming up, fighting the pickoff onto Samson. But Stoikov, he's the real target. I mean, Zephyr doing everything he can onto Dad. The Bramble Mace will hit onto the real one. 555 doesn't have a hookshot, but he does have the jetpack. He's gonna try to give a little bit of vision. Glimpier. That beautiful glide here onto two. Stoikov, he'll be able to get out with the Remnant up onto the high ground. Try to TP on out. Will he be able to? They don't have enough vision for the Lucid Beam. This is a, such a back and forth game, Waxen. <laughs> it feels like when one team is just getting that much ahead, the other team says no. I'm gonna commend Adrian. We've singled him out. He's had a really rough game, but on the back of that hook shot from 555, which was also perfect, jumping in and using the hurricane to reposition the Razor outside of the cogs, closer to his team, separating the team fight even more. The, it, that was a great, great play from Adrian. And yeah, the timing is coming right now. And it came in at five minutes earlier than I was expecting play. It's right here and Leviathan. Yeah, you have farm, you've had the lead for half an hour, but this Luna is reaching her boiling point, level 20. She's got four items, about to have finish her Kanda, and she's already managed to kill you a few times. What are you gonna do now, especially if Kali will start saving for their buybacks? I mean, uh, it's just become so much more difficult, right? You kinda need something to get through these BKBs coming out from Kali. They've done such a good job at just supporting each other when the fights are going oh dad that dad we don't die to tor tormentor okay yeah i mean that would be one way of losing the game yeah that would be that would be a way that leviathan can kind of wrestle themselves back in just hope that Kali lose you know, get team wiped by tormentor i've seen it before not by either of these teams specifically but in general Okay, Sammy the... Boy with the smoke. Sammy Boy with the smoke. He also still has the BKB. This time it's only eight seconds long. Uh, I mean, a BKB Sanjin Yasha and Yolnir coming out for Samson. He's got so much damage and a bit of survivability as well. It, he hasn't really been doomed, so the oh, nice point from Adrian. But the status resistance still just very nice against this Kali team. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Oh, fakers. <laughs> and that was a hyperstone on He's the courier. Yeah, but that's gonna be not happening for three minutes. Uh, they're making a play out onto the dad. Has a BKB if he needs to use it. He's going to probably. Wait, he doesn't so use BKB? He's just gonna accept the fact that he's dead instead. No buyback I mean, for him. And now the TPs are coming in onto that left side of the map. Stoikov will definitely be able to chase Faker down. Faker went down. Pickup went up, but the Tormentor is going to give away the fact that Faker is down here. He's going to have to BKB TP. I think the BKB might have been a little bit too aggressive, but the Gladnir was there. Didn't. 
Yeah, the Luna BKB would have been a completely pointless game. Let's think about it. the razor, onto the, the other side. The Primal Spud has been used out onto the back line. Adrian gonna try to get on out of there. They have the hook shot just to escape and and absolutely botched initiation coming out from Kali as this Primal Split is still going up underneath this tier three tower now. KP just trying to push this Kali team out of this tier two tower. I was saying the Luna BKB earlier would have been completely pointless because she did get swapped out. Um, swap obviously you can swap targets in BKB, so the damage was pretty much physical, flying in from the Razor. I think that was a good decision coming in from that. She will still have her uh, eight second BKB. Every second will count in what will potentially be a high ground team fight. I mean, the team fight is everything for both of these teams at this point. Flexen, who do you think is better team fight at this current stage of the game? Um, I reckon team fight wise, it is probably Kali, but execute wise, I think it's I think it's also them. Oh, they have find it easier to execute. Beautiful two man chains with the bedlam as well. Uh, Stoikov just playing with his food a little bit. Do they have a hook shot or something? They need a little bit more control for the Summer Spirit. He's going to get on out of there. And Faker finds a two man Echo Slam on both supports. The Glimmer has been used out of the Dark Spirit. The Swap as well, giving a little bit of shield, dealing a little bit of damage. But Adrian trying to find that Doom. He doesn't actually have it. 5 5 5. And then we got getting that kill. And Stoikov out, out of the side getting hook shot in here. This is the big kill. Pops the BKB. They don't have a stun for him. He will die. And they are immediately rotating on the Samson here. He's underneath the ward. Kali looking for more. Adrian blinking forward. They push him up a little bit more. Faker has a blink in 10 seconds. They're going to TP in as well. And Pamplona, you're going to die here uh, pretty wow. fast. That was uh, that, that was very impressive. I, I didn't expect him to die that, that quickly. That was uh, actually uh, quite impressive, but now let's see, they're gonna get more of the jumping on Sammy Boy. Samson, he's the target now, but the damage coming out on the Faker, he has no armor, has to be a little bit careful. Four stop forward, beautiful play. Again, but the turnaround, that's three BKBs to make sure that none of them get feared. Otherwise, it would have been a disaster for Kali. Using the BKBs at a very good time. They're gonna TP on out of there to get a pick off and maybe a little bit more space on the map. This is probably the biggest win I feel like we've seen for Kali. A lot of their kills lately have been on the supports uh, or very non-consequential, but getting a kill on the top net worth hero at this current point in time is uh, gonna be uh, disastrous for Leviathan. A th one minute full, no Sammy boy, who's also building towards what I think is going to be a seat. Satanic? Yeah, Satanic. Yeah. Uh, I go on. Adrian, my friend. I, I, I mean, you haven't died in a while, so you get pass, but I mean, you're definitely dead now. Hmm. That's yeah, that's uh, not good. Not a good look for Adrian getting caught off yet, uh, caught yet again by surprise. But Tormentor will be taken by Kali. Uh, Hoodwink will get there's a boomerang, and we see. Uh, level 20 on Faker has opted to go for the 50% enchant toted damage as most uh, core earth shakers would do uh, But one of the other things we have not spoken about is this clockwork um, Getting closer and closer to his agonims. That's gonna be quite an interesting power spike using the overclocking uh, In about 2000 gold. Hopefully we'll have the chance to see it before the game will be ended I'm You know, it's a clock they can farm they got the rocket player and battery salt does double damage to creep so Five five five. He'll be taking creeps that he probably wouldn't otherwise. Roshan is the next target yeah. for both of these. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking at buyback status right now, and uh, not looking too good. well. No buyback currently for the side of Leviathan, uh, but that's why they want to get this Roshan KP already right-clicking him away, but the Rocket Flare will spot them. The smoke is coming in from mid, but I don't think they're going to be fast enough. This Roshan already down to about 70% HP. The roar will come through as well, but they're still revealed by the Rocket Flare, and they will get outside of the pit. They want to wait for what can be the team fight of the tournament. This could be a huge team fight, and they're going to smoke up as well. That Rocket Flare is actually going to give zero vision. Holly might not know, but there's the BK, the Blink BKB. The Primal Split has been used as well. Another look at the Eclipse has been used. 
KP, the Elush, the Sprulings have basically all but died. And Dad, he needs a little bit of help. They popped the Juvenile out of the Razor, but Dad has died. And now Adrian, he's trying to chase down this Razor, but the Swamp is there. And now the damage, but Baker with the turnaround. Echo Slam, not going to be enough. Well, it is actually, but Stoikov, he's the next target. He's line number two. You can't get to him. And he has played an absolutely critical game so far. Three dead on the side of Kali and Leviathan. They might not necessarily have the damage to take out Rush, but they're going to grind it down anyway. Yeah, a series of unfortunate events coming in from Kali. First of all, a full Eclipse being popped only to kill three Brulings, then the Doom used on a Razor who had essentially used every single spell in his toolbox. The Eye of Storm, the Link was fully charged, even the Plasma Field was on cooldown, yeah. so that Doom was essentially pointless at that point in time. Uh, maybe a bit pay hot on his fingers, Adrian, instead of trying to find the, for the Doom onto the Ember Spirit. Um, Stoikov has a gem as well, uh, and I think one more team fight will be what's gonna keep Halle from not losing this game number one, but I don't really see them holding on to this versus this Aegis that will go to KP on this Brewmaster. I think they're just gonna try to make sure that they can get Primal split off is such an important part of their fight. So now, last fight didn't really pan out. The Brewling basically died immediately. Uh, the Luna, I've heard, does a lot of good damage against Primal. Yeah. Uh, but the yeah, well, we saw that. She did melt the Brulings, but one of them was completely secure because the Earthling was just pursuing the Vengeful Spirit, so that yeah. one didn't die. And that is obviously, you gotta kill all four if you want to kill the uh, Brewmaster. Uh, with that being said, he also has the Shard, so he can cancel it early if he ever feels like he's in trouble, going back to his normal form that has a BKB. Uh, KP closer and closer to level 25, which is gonna be another big power spike for Leviathan. 7,000 gold lead currently. The, the game has basically been it. Oh, five, 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 nine. I haven't missed a kill in quite a while, actually. So, pretty surprised. But it's, it's just looking like Kali. They need to put the pieces together. They have all of these really nice items. And Adrian pops the Doom, but he gets Doom himself. The Lotus Sword was there at use at the very last time. And now Doom. He's got to try to make his way to his fountain. He won't even do anything if he gets there. The Doom out onto the Brewmaster with a beautiful Echo Slam. Hitting out onto two. The buybacks have to be used here. And probably want to make anything happen. But you're really deep. You're falling so far behind. Samson, I mean, that's three buybacks used onto Kali. This came out of the nowhere. And Leviathan, they're looking for a little bit more. They're trying to cut out onto the back line. That's another buyback used. They need to do everything they can to mitigate this push. Samson is basically unkillable. Dad, with the Eclipse, this is a beautiful play. Exactly what they need. They bought the Satanic on this, this Razor. He's doing so much damage. He stole damage from Dad as well. Adrian, he will die here. No buyback for him. As 555, he dies as well. No buyback for him as well. That's going to be three dead. I mean, Doom. Oh, never mind, Doom. He's doing, I mean, he is doing a beautiful job kiting. He's going to TP out into the tree line. But again, Two heroes without buyback, and they're continuing on. Dad doing everything he can. A beautiful turn out play on your razor. That is a huge bloodstone. KP blinks up. Will they find him? They won't find him in time. But I mean, that's or, four buybacks. Yeah, four buybacks, including two diebacks in the process. Still a huge gold swing that will go towards Leviathan. But. I can say, uh, base is still intact, yeah. Age is still in play, um, that's one of the disadvantages when you have an Aegis on your Brewmaster, he doesn't really ever die, uh, not at this point in time, so, uh, okay, he's gonna, KP gonna try to pursue Faker, oh, who has also goodness. bought back. That is, gonna, yeah, Faker has to TP, TP out, he cannot afford to die. I mean, the buyback status, nobody on Kali has buyback. Yeah, I needed to, needed to disengage there. He cannot have died. That would have probably been game. Because we've seen how much damage Faker can do if yeah. he manages to land a few enchant totems in teamfights. Um, that's why he's level 25. Could be so good, but two levels away. It's going to take him quite a while to get there. Um, that lower cooldown enchant totem would be 
uh, essential. We can see him getting a Shadow Blade, trying to get some kills in the back line, maybe just kill this pesky Dark Willow or Avenge early on in a team fight, and then try to have the number advantage when fighting versus the reminder of the course. Fighting the course is definitely a good option. Um, it just it just really comes down to can Kali get that critical doom before the fight starts? They they I think they really need to be the ones to initiate a Zephyr here. Oh my good board. That was an echo slam. Yep. So, a support lost, or support with a buyback for an Echo Slam, yeah, okay, it's a bit of gold, but uh, now they're gonna just hit the racks, because you don't have your biggest teamfight spell anymore. Uh, you do have this tower getting pushed down, it's under siege. Don't have the best tower push on Leviathan unless they use the primal split, though. The one thing about the draft that they might want to change, they hook are shot. gonna use the hook shot, the glimmer is there as well, Stinger will be fine, they pop the dust, so... He walks up, they're gonna be able to see it and they point forward for the KP555 doing his absolute best. But they get the Doom out onto the back line. Razor is in a little bit of trouble. They BKB as well, but that is a nice swap. And Faker looking for more. They're trying to get out onto Stinger. The Eclipse has been used, the primal used this, but it has been used as well. But again, they're going out onto the back line. Faker trying his absolute best, but he can't do it. The damage is there. And Samson, he lives. Pamplona onto the back line, trying to get the kill out of this Vector Spear. Will not go. And Luna as well, that is dead. That is three dead, no buyback. Uh, this game may as well be over. You have one hero left with a clockwork. He's trying to cut the wave. Won't be enough. You do have a fortification if you need to use it. They do pop it pretty early on, but the counter fort as well. 555, five, five. again, he's the lone man that can cut the waves. But I'll tell you, once those... Once that tower dies, these tier fours are under siege. It is your you are wise to hear Samson. He is 13, 7, and 18, yeah, and Stoikov is 12, 2, and 15. Dropping a gem. And for all he just gave the gem to Kali as well. A bit of BM coming out from Leviathan. These tier four towers again falling. 18 seconds left on Hoodwink. Kali, they have basically everything except time. Which is the only thing they need as this ancient is falling. Wax and this is game one is gonna come down to Leviathan. They're not even gonna call GG, they're just gonna let it end. And GG has been called after the ancient has fallen. Leviathan, they take game one. It was very back and forth. Uh, you did bring this up uh, quite a few times in this game. And in the end, the mid late uh, game lineup came on top uh, quite surprisingly i actually thought they missed their timing a few times but then it's, it's quite hard to get back into a game uh, last hit wise other than the luna there were no cores on the side of the dire that managed to get any farm in and then the constant deaths and pickoffs uh, that were happening uh leviathan just finding the opponent cores out of position time and time again in the end allowed them uh, multiple opportunities to break into the base and in the end one too many mistakes cost cali that game number one which i really believed uh, they could have, they should have won if they weren't getting picked off so so often. Yeah, Adrian just had an awful time in the lane. He just kept dying over and over and over again. And Waxen, when you think of an MVP this game, who do you have to give? Hmm. I mean, honestly. Probably Sammy Boy. The yeah. Razor was the, the most impactful hero. And yes, Toykov score looks great. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't feel like the Ember Spirit had the impact that they wanted anyway. I mean, it, it's, it's, dude, th that Razor just kept linking Dad every fight with BKB run at Dad. And because yeah. everybody around him was so far behind, it was free to do whatever you wanted. Is that game one? Ollie had the opportunity to take it, but Leviathan had a pretty solid lead the whole game and it's going to have to come down to game two. Can Kali come back and secure themselves a win or will Leviathan get a clean sleep? We're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to find out the answer to that question. They really got to get out. Ori is coming, Panic. baby. There's get the out. blink forward. They find Seb looking now for BZM. He's going to get the blink off onto the high ground, trying to just channel through the gate. The stomp, it makes oh it in God. time. 
Oh, you got a BKB TP now, son. Oh, he has he no TP. Have... He's going through the gate. He has no choice. Dude, he's so dead. Oh, this he is a disaster for OG. He does not. He bought out the eggs. And now they're going to find Drought. Oh, this is it. That's got to be game. It oh, has to be, right? The spell amp right there, dude. The team's turning around. They're like, they might be making a play for the Medusa here. Whisper's got a blink. Goes in, goes for the pulverize. The silence comes out from BZM. It's going to be a nice initiation on the backside from FY to break this one up. Stone Gaze is here. Onslaught on through. Whisper trying to just stay on top of low. And BZM with this exorcism should be able to finish the job. Chrono comes out to grab the Crystal Maiden as well. Low's going to fall. Double kill for BZM. Ori with the Rolling Thunder now has to use it to get away. And Whisper, he's going to come off a beautiful silence from BZM. They need the bashes. Can they chase him down? Squash buckles away. The exorcism, it's still going. Whisper just continues to run through them. They're turning attention on over to Bach. Timber chains back on through to the other side. Do they have the catch? Blink pulverize in one. The bashes, they take down Bach. FY, great avalanche, great toss. Tries to finish off. Savvy gets him with a tower shot. Whisper is really far forward. Gets the blink pulverize here. Finds low. Great avalanche response. Here comes the drums. Here comes the boys. He is in a lot of danger. But Tomato takes a huge damage out from that, uh, I mean, Mystic Snake. And now a little bit of an interesting cancel on that freezing field. Maybe thinking he was going to back away. And now low. Oh, a stolen freezing field from Ari. Just dumping the damage back in. FY, the avalanche, the toss. Tomato going for a very deep dive. He bursts him down. The Bash Lord himself gets the kill. Whisper back in, chasing FY. This is an insane dive, and it somehow works. Ari doesn't die. You only lose the Aegis. They're smoking to try and come make this uh, fight happen, but it is dead so fast. And you're gonna have Exo for the fight now. Whisper in a decent spot to break the smoke. They're gonna Timber Chain on in. Whisper, he jumps in aggressively with the BKB, gets the Pulverize here onto the Medusa. The Telekin actually doesn't have a Manta either quite yet. Silenced up, chain stun down. Can they burn her man on time? No, she gets the Stone Gaze. That is big. Now on the run is going to be the Crystal Maiden, but she's not going to be able to make it out for now. And Lowe's out of all his resources. Silenced up. Brought down. No problem at all. On the other side of the fight, Whisper is scouted. Bach here. Great telekinesis to cancel the Timber Chain away. Bach's going to need some help. Onslaught to interrupt the next one. How many times can they get away with this? The silence is there, but he finally just TPs home instead. Beautifully done. Tomato trying to chase for FY is not going to find him. Well, that being or said, Willy. Whisper might. Great onslaught into the pulverize. They are all over the map here on OG. Three huge kills. I mean, between the Alpha Wolf, his Vlad's aura, and the attack speed aura, like the amount of damage he just enables his team is ridiculous. They've caught Bach Three on the backside. Bash into bash into bash. They've also managed to isolate the Medusa. Bach, he's just dead. What are those bashes? The Chrono, is he going to use it? He's going to just BKB. A nice ult here from low, making space. They've managed to find the Pango. Whisper going to try and chase and isolate this hero. Silenced up by the Death Prop. He's got a refresher. There's your Chrono Spear catching the Tiny. He gets all three actually onto the high ground. They go. Another set of Pulverizes. Just going to isolate low. Oh my god. Goodness. All right. Lane is. I mean, I feel like this has kind of been what we've been seeing in a lot of these games. However, Elder Titan is bottom with an Astral Spirit looking to maybe dive Tomato here. FY comes in, gets the stun, the plasma field, all that magic resistance just burned away from the natural order. And just like that, they get themselves first blood here for Tian Ming. TP in from the Zeus. Wants to help find a return kill. Blood Grenade is out. Gets himself a nice pickoff. Heavenly Jump interrupted there as now Bach will help chase down Ari. It's a double kill as a three for one. Whoever I'm made, made that change was Herald, though. Okay, get two ice Alec. They're going to try and initiate onto the Pudge with the Scepter, and nice it's not an easy target to be able to blow up. Meanwhile, Noob on the back on his well, disrupting the supports, but he's going to run into Ori's damage. They need to get onto the sniper. Ori is currently freely right clicking on the low ground, and without a response, this would be a free fight for Azure, and we see that be the case currently. Melek's going to be holding to place, but the root and tier 2000 just We're does not eight. see an angle to enter. Low's well, not there. Let's no see. Luna. Maybe an opportunity smoke. Ori? Trying to pop the vision. Instant BKB from Ori. Bloodstone is going to charge in. 
They've been able to what? isolate Baboka, which is a lot of the control inside the middle of the team fight. Meanwhile, JT as well is trying to deal with the back line. They'll get the beam before the egg. Down goes the Phoenix, but with the BKB expiring for Mori, he's gone as well. G2IG able to reset, but they will be able to drag back. Buck, Nick timing with the X, able to catch up. Two nothing to say before the leap away. A heavy commitment though from Dyer. Is there going to be an opportunity for them to be able to finally have this first successful team fight? Even Ori's looking to rejoin as well. They need a way to protect JT. Maybe Provoker's going to be in with the combo, but it's not going to matter. Oh, just the AoE off. damage. It's too much. It is egg. too much. No BKBs. They're going to turn. They've got the attacks to be able to bring down the egg. It is not a concern for Azure. Ori catches up. The split earth is there. It's a five man white. Multiple buybacks as well committed as well. And. Maybe be able to catch Malik. Omar's in a really good position for the banish, but this is a fight they can look to take. But, I mean, you got to get Ori. Noob's got to try and find him. But, of course, he does have the Aegis, though. They're going to toss him into the middle, but meanwhile, over to the right side, no one was there to protect Omar. And now Bark, as well, is going to be able to leap over the top. They'll hold the Marana into place. Noob. He tried to deal with Ori, but it didn't matter in the end. And now Noob put himself in a compromised position. And they're going to be able to bring him down on the outskirts of the Tier 2 Tower. Yeah, they just tried fighting into an Aegis, so... Hard, hard, hard to fight like this. They need... Oh, T2000. He might be caught here. Are they Links. gonna be able to protect him, Omar? Is this a fight you want to take, though, on Radiant? Not easy once the sniper's currently set up. Noob nope. was trying to find an angle around, but he ran inside the lane, so the vision was out for low on the counter as well. Bark in the back. jumps in. Meanwhile, the right there, Malik. Oop. He got the sniper. FY though tries to protect it with the blast off. It's not enough. And now Tier 2000. It's his time to shine, but the BKB, they're lacking some stuns to enable the Morphling. Finally, he'll be able to blow up the disruptor. Another, Another hook, hook from Malik. Stops the TPR from Bark. And finally, we get a good fight out of the boys on PSG Quest. They're going to be able to purge off the instead. Malik can help close the distance onto the Centaur. Anyone else? And this is what they've been waiting <laughs> for. Doesn't it? Maybe low. Low still here. Oh, missed the hook. <laughs> They're going on they it. want to jump Malik? Oman's going to be nearby to be able to protect him In over the, the right side. Low. In the back. I mean, the Narcus oh. just ran into where they were set up. Low. Didn't respect PC Quest's formation. Respect and now, the formation. Is this a fight you're going to be able to take, <laughs> Tianming? It's a pretty nice good static storm. storm. That's the scepter onto two, but the banish from, from Omar. Vital seconds for tier 2000 to be able to activate the BKB once it expires. Sniper's and now they've got gone. the back line. Snipe is gone. First life assassinated. And now they're going to be able to set up for the second. Arrow off the back of the respawn tier 2000. Finally, he's got enough damage. We saw some of the early fights. He was struggling, but that is not the case now. This PC quest will be able to come out on top. Back to back fights. And they have the net worth lead now in our first best of one. Not as scary as most uh, late game carries, but Sniper for me is maybe an X factor. He could... Which is one of the reasons why I doubted Yeganim Skanda build. I wanted him sure. to just be an absolute beast. Is he looking to take the team fight first? Melly, can he find an angle for the hook? T2000 wants to go in. Oh, he won't be able to find the hook back. And now uh, it's just a freebie onto Bark and you know, the rest maybe of Azure. The Kalis is hunting. I don't know if they're going to be able to get it though. Lowe's actually going to send the illusions in. Noob's got blink up in a couple of seconds. They're Malik. all sticking around. They want to go. They're set up for the Static Storm, and they need to find Omar. Omar Omar's already used the banishment, so they're not going to be able to protect him inside the Static Storm now. And they are both just gone. Wipe from the face of the Earth. Now, Tier 2000. Let's see what the Morphling's going to be able to do. Doesn't seem like a whole lot for the moment. Mark's got blinked up in a couple of seconds. They feel the necessity to buy back to protect him, but... Glimpse him to the remnants of the Tier 1 Tower. 2000 is not going to go out without a fight. Unfortunately, without the Satanic and the Chain Control being perfect, he would not have an opportunity to bring any other hero into the grave with him. A good ult. They're going to be late again. And this time it's a third Roche, so an, an even more important Roche to, to try and contest. We saw what happened last time, though, even fighting to the Ages. They did come out successful. The smoke, it's going to pop FY. Noob's going to try and give them the information to jump in, but the Assassin's going to be able to cancel. I don't know this song. They're clumped up. They don't have the vision, though. Sentry needs to get layered down. Eyes on Omar, what he's going to be able to do. Disruption's going to be there to be able to protect at least one. G2000 tries to assassin Ori onto the back line as well. He's got the Aegis, so Ori's got a second life to work with. 
They had to expend a little bit though. Those BKBs are now going to be off cooldown. Is it going to matter in the end? Or he tries to duck into the trees, wants to turn. Standing strong, tier 2000. Over towards Tian Ming, but it's just not enough. It is just not enough. The zero rate. All they lose is the ages. Three down without a buyback, and they can walk it down now. Nothing to say. Malik. Not a bad Same. target, Money. He's even better. They're going to be able to catch a Gyrocopter to the front of the T2 tower, and the damage just comes in too quick. Now, the vessel was freshly completed from Baboka. So we're going to see them use it in turn onto Malik. And meanwhile, X Nova as well with the freezing field is kind of zoning the protective heroes away from helping Malik. And now the supports have stuck around for a little bit too long. They're going to be able to drag back the Hoodwink and a double kill for JT. Now, Noob still might tier be able 2000? to assassinate Baboka. Tier 2000's nearby as well. Once you the shackle is not able to latch onto the tree. And Baboka will be fine in the end. But G2IG, you lose the Gyrocopter, but you find three kills afterwards they're gonna go beforehand though pc quest ready to fight I look to try and connect to Dakarlus, who's farming pretty aggressively inside dai's jungle and they've got a lord uh, sorry lane that's shoved out as well so if a successful team fight they'll be able to convert into a t2 they tower they will intercept a couple of heroes looking to try and make their oh, way gyro, gyro, gyro. they get a glimpse of one eight and with a jump over the top noob they should be able to bring him down with the help of the Caudal Damage Money. Trying to do whatever he can, but without the BKB, it's not going to be enough. Still, split. this is a fight they might look to take. JT with a split. They'll turn to Melek. Nothing to say he's going to drop the combo. He got the catch onto the Wind Ranger. T2000 in some danger, and the Torrent Storm freshly completed. Noob's going to try and reset, but it will not be fast enough. The Hurling Boulder catches up to him. And now Carlos, the sole survivor. But he will not be alive for too much longer. JT with the crits. You know, on this, on, on this slash. I'm not sure what kind, if he's an Yules enjoyer. I've seen him build it. He is a Yules enjoyer. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, JT again. once again. Tiamming to start, FY to follow. And yeah, this, man, is this is <laughs> what we're mentioning. This is like, this is what should happen every time a Timba is drafted first pick. He should have a whole reef. The one doing the awful production today have made a lot of mistakes, but it doesn't matter the mistakes that I make, only the mistakes of the players, and I enjoy by oh, wow. the only waxen. That's right, I'm throwing it. The shade wow. has been thrown. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, okay, I guess, yeah, what a start. Yeah. Uh, and what a start <laughs> from the players as well, the teams. Uh, going straight for the Razor, Leviathan believing that, leaving it through in the pool is the correct choice. And they seem to believe they also have the answer for it, as that was an all-quick all uh, Lina response. You wonder if Leviathan kind of drew this up in their head. They're like, okay, game one, we're going to crush them with Razor. Game two, they're going to first pick Razor, and we're going to counter it with like four heroes and... and just I mean, we did talk about the fact that the Razor was what seemed to be the key for victory for them. So, yeah. uh, Kali coming on top, uh, uh, just picking it up. First pick Razor. This is a story I don't think I would have ever believed you if you'd have told me uh, will ever be a thing. First pick Razor. Well, it's a thing right now. I mean, I guess it's like it's got like a little bit of flexibility. You don't have yeah, to yeah, yeah. play it. Play it safe, plain. In a very rare case, you could also play it offlane. See, I would say it's more common offlane than safe lane. I, I, yeah. I think it was a rare occasion we saw it being played position one and successful last game. Um, but like you said in the pregame before we went live, that's the reason why we are casting and not playing. Yeah. Uh, they, they know much better than we, uh, us what they do. Well, they're also going to go for the clockwork, so reversal there, Leviathan, kind of, you know, they're swapping drafts, you're like, you know what? It's a steal for steal. Yeah, it's like, you know what, you looked like you had fun the last game, we're going to have some of that fun. But, uh, you know, yeah. stealing, you know, swapping drafts, you'd think would favor the team that lost, because then you'd be taking the, team, the draft of the team that won. Mark. So maybe Kali knows something we don't. Smart, smart indeed, uh, indeed. and uh, they're going to get the disruptor, hello? Uh, yeah, did we didn't ban the Disruptor? I was untouched. Talkers, I mean, I'm taking Kali. 1-1, uh, one, one, we're getting game 3. Okay. See, here's the thing, yep. Waxen. You and I are on polar opposite of this Disruptor spectrum. Seconds, I hate remaining. Disruptor. I think, I think this is the most overrated Five hero at the moment. Remaining. I know, dude. I know. I know. 
if you're be if you fall behind at any point with the disruptor on your team, he's literally three hundred gold for the enemy team. But why would you plan? Uh, uh, why would you plan a head for a losing game? Like who plans? Oh yeah, if we do okay, end well, up losing. Yeah, I I will say glimpse is uh, one of the most annoying spells to play against, and obviously disruptor with the thunder strike. A lot of people have been very high on the stocks of the thunder strike. I, I just it's versus a clockwork it's versus a clockwork yeah. he hooks in you send him back he hooks in you static storm him now nah, i think this is a great disruptor play and they're sticking with the lord they got lots of thunder people right That's they got true. razor they've got disruptor i'm just saying lightning thunder we've got it all we need zeus zeus will uh, not be uh we might what, be picked actually one of the thunder hero lightning here techies because he has the disarm Basis trap if you want to go oh, that wow angle. reacting yeah. rea okay no <laughs> no i'm not counting him no sorry <laughs> you gotta you gotta fight some answers here but kali they're the ones in the hot seat right now they have to find answers for this leviathan draft if they don't they are mathematically eliminated from the playoffs if they don't win the series so they have to win two back-to-back -back games if they want to even have a chance at making playoffs yeah, and they're taking their sweet time with this uh, pick. They really want to... Um, they, they're deciding, actually, what do they want to show? Because if they pick the core, that might dictate where the Razor is going. And if they pick another support... I, th I think, actually, that support might be the correct choice right here. And it's going to be the Snapfire. This is a new huh. hero. I have. Is this the first time it's been picked at EPL, actually? Hold on. The first step uh, of the tournament. It's a it's a great clockwork counter. That is for sure. Uh, the cookie helps uh, your target get outside of the cogs. Uh, it brings more team fight potential. Helps raise the reposition. If the disruptor connects the kinetic field to one or two targets, a snap throwing in the the uh, cookies. Uh, full, not the cookies. The ultimate. Uh, it, it's not a bad snapfire pick. I, I I don't hate it. I liked it. I love the hero, but it's definitely not my first uh, the first hero I would think of. Well, well it would be because this is the first time it's been played this tournament. In the do or die game, Kali go for maybe a pocket strat, Wax, and if this is a, coming out of their pocket. Might this be a carry? A carry what? Snapfire. Snapfire? Yeah. Or like Absolutely mid. not. Maybe, <laughs> maybe carry never. That's just not. It. No, this is a supposed no. position for a Snapfire, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, Primal Beast versus Disruptor. He kind of dominates Disruptor despite the glimpse. He deals so much damage that you get bursted out of the server. And Shadow Demon, I, I talked about this hero in game number one. Surprised it went untouched for as long as it did in game one. And now finally making his way here. And this Shadow Demon um, works perfectly versus Disruptor. If you do get glimpsed or Static Storm, you can protect your teammate with a, a, a disruption. Uh, still, I, I actually believe the Shadow Demon is probably the second strongest support in this current meta other than the Chen. Yeah, Chen, I don't know, dude. Chen is either the most broken hero in all of Dota or he's unplayable. I and mean, there's really no in between for a moment. Uh, Kali go for the faces void, so opting to go for a bit of a kind of chrono the back line type deal. I don't think chronoing is ever bad. I very few games is not playable. This is not one of them. It's time walk is so getting a primal beast. Out of cogs, get on top of Luna. Radiant. Uh, this is looking cogs. great. It makes uh, it makes a lot of sense with what they have. They've got the eye of the storm, like I said, the static storm already. Uh, the snapfire. They've, this is a bubbled composition, and the only thing I might be afraid of uh, depends what they're going to choose for their last pick. It might be slightly too reliant on uh, cooldowns. But we'll have to wait and see Leviathan, but I'm going to ban out the Invoker, which has been a great addition to Kali's lineup. Kali will take out the Doom themselves. One of the heroes that is very contested in Tier 1 play is Weaver, and yep. we don't really see it be contested in APL thus far. Team Maybe it's just not a hero that, that, that this level have kind of gotten used to. A little more tricky to play around. He kind of wants to out of fights. He gets picked off. It's really bad for you. It, like changes your play style Ten a little bit. I, they probably could play it if they wanted to, but you're not gonna pick a Weaver into it. Five seconds. I don't remaining. think Kali are opting to team pick it up themselves. Kind of need an offlaner here, something that kind of rouses the draft out that maybe is 
Oh, of course. Cool reliance. Yeah, they still have a bit of flex on the side of Leviathan. Both the Lina and the Primal Beast can be yeah. moved around. You could have a Lina safely in the Primal mid. Um, Kali has uh, over 40 seconds to think about their final peak pick, but they will have to reveal. And Leviathan will then have almost two minutes to show us uh, what they believe about Kali's draft and how they want to counter it. For Kali, uh, I would have loved his use, but sadly Leviathan took it out already. And we will have the Pog. Wait. Earth Spirit mid. Uh, oh. It could be Earth Spirit 4 and Snapfire mid. That could, could still be, be an option, could my be. friend. Could be. Could be. I'm just saying, if it happens, I called it. And if it does, and it, and I don't want it to happen, they do Ten that. Seconds remaining. They, it doesn't get my seal of approval. I'm just saying, I knew it would happen. Five but this is a bit of a weird flex draft coming out from Kali. The only thing that we know for sure is it's going to be Harry Faceless Void. Other than that, everything might be up in the I mean, this is going to be a support disruptor, and we're not going to see a core disruptor, are we? You know uh, what? You and... never know. What in the world are we seeing right now? Is this 2022? Okay. What happened? Um, he uh, dazzles back from the dead. He shallow graved himself out of this patch. And it's going to be an awfully dazzle. Oh, what in the world? Of all pigs. <laughs> Sammy <laughs> Boy will be world? running the Loon Lena mid. Uh, sorry, the Lena safe lane will have uh, Stoikov, Primal Beast mid, Zephyr, Shadow Demon, and Stinger the Clockwork. Whereas for Kali, okay, it's going to be a Snapfire support. Um, yeah. Waxen. We still uh, raise her, raise her off lane and Earth, uh, Earth Spirit mid, but this Earth Spirit. I love the, the choice of Earth Spirit. We talked about cooldown reliance yeah. for Kali, and this Earth Spirit obviously doesn't really have long cooldown, so that's going to be great for them. But with this Dazzle response, which is not going to... It doesn't matter. Dazzle's not mid. I don't know. I actually... I actually agree with you. Is this 2022 Faker running the Earthshaker and the Earth Spirit? Like, this is not what I was expecting to see. We've seen Thompson try to run the Earth Spirit mid, and I think in pubs there has been quite a bit of an attempt on making Earth Spirit work yet again. But what are your thoughts on this matchup, Primal Beast versus Earth Spirit? Uh, Primal Beast versus Earth Spirit is... I mean, I, I figure Primal Beast probably has a bit of... If the trample... Yep ever uh, off cooldown, Faker has to be really careful and he probably has to roll out of the lane. Primal will just get the wave and then be able to push it out. Get a golden advantage that way. On the other side, Faker, gonna have to make those rotations in order to get that experience and gold equilibrium back to his. Uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta point this out. Uh, Earth Spirit is a great counter to Lina. Yep. Uh, Lina doesn't really want to rush a BKB by any sort of imagination, and the fact that this Earth Spirit will always be pesky, jump on her, and, or even if she doesn't jump on her, but just silence her, is going to put her in really precarious, precarious positions. So, uh, it's going to be an interesting mid to late game, and I would love to see a game three, my friend. Let's see, as game number two between Kali and Leviathan is now underway. Every, Kali have everything on the line for them. They really need to win this game if they want to make a play here. It, or even have, a, again, a chance at playoffs. If they lose here, they are mathematically eliminated as they hadn't, as it means they wouldn't have won a single series against any team. Have no, not enough points, not enough opportunities to get points to make it into the playoffs. And of course, unfortunately, with the way the group stage is set up, two teams out of each group can't make it, and for Group A, we're looking at Kali being one of the first to be mathematically eliminated as the smoke's coming out here for both sides. Stinger, he's gonna break the smoke on the side of Kali, looking for more dead up onto the high ground, giving vision for his team, but the disruption set up onto the back, and now it's pulverized forward. A beautiful talk separating the two. Adrian, you're the target again. They're doing everything they can to shut down Adrian. First blood goes the way of Leviathan. They do lose their um, clockwork. But Stoikov leveling the Onslaught level 1 just to secure that kill. And Holly are going to try to get some more bounty runs than they did the last time around. Zephyr up onto the high ground once again. Setting up onto 555 to another poison touch. No, it's going to be the Shadow Wave. Oh, this is disgusting. Half of his health shine immediately. 555. But that is a West Striker raid that doesn't hit a KP. He's falling a little bit too close to the sun. He will fall. Reckler coming out onto, onto this Disruptor. He will die as well. But that's a 2 for 2 engagement. A 3 for 2, sorry. 
Leviathan get a little bit more back out of an incredible first blood uh, battle or pre minute one battle. Holly looking to get a slight advantage. A little bit of golden experience. Probability in their favor. Definitely a, a more dynamic draft on the side of Kali. Leviathan are likely looking to get as much as they can out of their sort of carry lineup. And this structure, oh. I mean, this Dazzle, Waxen, what do you think of this Dazzle pick? I think KP has played this previously in the offlane, so I'll, I, I want to see how he's going to make this one work. But at the same time, uh, in mid, we are getting Faker, tanking some tower hits, but he will be fine with Stoikov. Um, yeah, I, I'm curious to see how Dad is going to survive KP as soon as KP will get his level 3, because uh, that Poison Touch is going to be very annoying for a Faceless Void. Already level 2, got to connect to Dad, and yeah, he's going to be zoned out away from the creeps. He just like, buy HP regen, maybe buy a Bracer on top of that, just like, Get as much health regen as you can and just accept the fact that you're gonna take damage over time from this poison touch or is not gonna not gonna be enough to slow down. No, I think if you go for the bracer that is gonna slow down a lot of your farm later on, so I really don't think that's the play here coming in from that. Uh yeah. but we'll see. So far, 27 uh, seconds cooldown, it's not going to be that damaging if you can just disengage in time. And we do have the time walk for that. Uh, in bottom though, we got Lina versus Razor, a matchup that a few years ago, maybe like six years ago, might have seen in mid lane. Uh, but now it's happening down bottom with the assist of supports. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, uh, this one, yeah? I mean, it, it's a little awkward for Stinger to get involved. You noticed how he got power cogs level one. I think that was because of but but I honestly think he probably still would have skilled this into lane. If you try to battery assault somebody, you're gonna get hit by two heroes instead of one. Clockwork really wants to isolate a target on the side of the lane and then punish them for being out of position. But when you have two grand heroes they can support each other and you have both of them are gonna have a save with the cookie or the link coming out here on the bottom lane. Nice cogs, but it's not gonna create enough separation and oh no, you got stuck in the tree, so you or damage is going to get linked out, but plays like that, Clock, are, clock is really going to want to take back. Uh, slightly unfortunate for uh, Stinger there, but he will be fine. Uh, the last hits are going uh, more than in the favor of Leviathan early on, including this Lina, who's having uh, quite a lead over Adrian. Also, only two more creeps, creeps that Adrian could collect here. So, surprising, but like you said, maybe the Stinger has been doing so oh, much work with the Cogs. Top 5 at 5 and eats a huge Shadow Wave, has the Fairy Fire, will use the KP now, turning around onto Dad with the help of the Illusions, the Disruptor Illusions that do quite a little bit of damage, but... Quite a little bit, uh, quite a lot of damage. But that Shadow Wave combo is something I didn't consider. Yeah, that's a, a definitely a, a good point you make right now. Uh, Shadow Wave, more targets gonna come in from the disruption, and it's great usage of the interactions between the heroes. You won't be able to use it onto Faces Void, but again, they're doing it once more. Bumps back, but oh my goodness, five, 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 two spells and he's dead. Can't do anything, man. Still, you're you're happy if your faceless void is not dying. But speaking of your faceless void, he's got several last hits. Uh, the snap fire down bottom almost has the same amount as we spoke down bottom. Oh we got Razor in pursuit God. and Sammy boy gotta lose his life. It's payback time. Adrian said, you did this to me for 45 minutes, game number one. Now it's my time to show you how it feels like. A oh, Razor is such a good hero, dude. I, I think people really sleep on... I've slept on Razor for a long time. Just offers a slow damage. That's your opponents down. Very few heroes in the game do that. And this is boy getting hit with the combo. Never mind, the combo's not there. Get a time walk out and... Look at Leviathan just pushing out this bottom the top lane. Yeah, they rotated Faker. They're looking for a little bit more. They want KP. That's the target. They're facing him down. But there's a Primal Beast. Whips the Onslaught. Zephyr now the target. Faker again. Just right clicking him down. Trample won't be in cold now for another second. Faker again with that slow. Gonna be able to do the damage with what the Shadow Wave popping in it as well. But that is a beautiful field. Negating that Trample. 
Do they have a glimpse? Yes, they do. They're trying to get the glimpse out onto Stoikov. They will. Garth on the side trying to harass KP, you, but Stoikov, he's the real target. As they do the roll the damage, that is a three-man poison touch. KP trying to reapply it, and both teams will decide their aggression. That was a lot of damage and a lot of spells being traded for no one else to fall uh, other than the Shadow Demon, so... Uh... Oh, Stinger gonna come in with the blood grenade and Faker. Oh, the barrier slow just out of them, but we have a jump in and Faker's dead. I was looking at the play top. They get on to 555 once again. The right clicks through. That first, dude, I need to play this in my pubs. <laughs> this is cur this is so crazy. Why does this work so well? It's because um physical damage coming in uh it's just completely overwhelming it's something that we often overlook especially early on this faceless void uh only has Samson bottom he's linked up one more right click we'll get the kill and they've even brought disruptor down here as well finger gets hit with the extra stun and the right clicks come through from the stolen damage he cut down the wrong tree once again it wasn't really gonna matter he dies the double kill for adrian but Baker dies mid off of the rotation of Zephyr. Both teams getting something out of different lanes. Yeah, but somehow, somehow the gold lead is becoming uh, uh, increasingly overwhelming for minute 7, 2000 already for Leviathan. Yeah, I think you just have to look at the last hits from Pace's Void. 11 last hits compared to the really? 37 from AP. Dad had absolutely no game. Uh, like actually no game I wonder what is the comeback in here for the faceless void is it just level 6 and then uh, join up with the kisses from snapfire to help you get a few last hits in a team fight so that you can uh, start scaling with back your far uh, like forward your farm because currently you're about to get caught by Zephyr and Stoikov yet again or yeah, I mean, this oh. is like, let's play, oh, my game is lagging really hard right now. Yeah, I think it's a bit from the server, I had that a little bit as well, but we are getting pursued down bottom, we got Adrian getting run down by Stinger. Yeah, the play is here, Adrian looking to get a little bit more, but he's gonna get pushed out of the cogs. Stoikov is here, they want the target, they want Adrian, he's not, he's gonna pop the one at the very last second, so he will, and now, this carry Lita has died they get the glimpse back on to stinger i guess this is why you picked disruptor maybe the stocks are growing in my eyes as they get that kill and it's two for nothing outside of calling did this faceless void manage to get any gold just 190 from that entire team fight he would have loved to get some last hit creeps so just you know some uh, kill secured creeps uh, uh kills sorry yeah, uh, but that's gonna be great for Kali. Uh, Kali is doing better and better. And I gotta ask you though, how is this clockwork so far? He's level five, the same as the Razor and the Lina. Uh, he's just been sitting bottom, trying to protect the uh, the Lina, right? So they've been splitting the experience. I mean, Lina a little bit more, a little bit more gold, but they have Dad down here, dude. I don't, I, I don't know what Dad is offering here in this lane. I think he's literally just trying to find a place to farm. He's leeching XP. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Adrian's not even gonna give him both of the <laughs> level one camp last hit. That's, oh, that's so tragic. Funny. Uh, they have a glimpse here. Zephyr does have a disruption if he wants to use it in order to save himself, but they are not gonna glimpse. Instead, uh, they've just brought. I, I don't know why there are four heroes down here. I don't know what they're. Uh, well, I hopefully they were trying to accomplish what Dad is about to... Okay, they were trying to actually avoid what was about to happen up top, which was uh, Dad losing his life to KP. Uh, and we're gonna... If Sayer can get out of this one, there's still a glimpse available. He it is gonna get used in the slope coming out from that huge Q. Pamplona, the plasma field going through the trees as well. They get the kill, another making play up top. Dad, he needs help. He needs help immediately. Won't be able to get it. And the Shadow Grave TP from KP, gonna be enough? Do they have the glimpse? No, they don't. Another three seconds cooldown. Disruptor, not gonna be there in time to get Stoikov. There was no range either, to be fair. Uh, 
but I gotta say, Faker's build at 3 3 none uh, is actually what allowed oh, KP to go for the TP. Hold on, Stoic Top did get, get hit by the guns eventually. They brought Stop Iron as well. The stun will miss, and you're trying to stop the onslaught with the stun of your own. They even pop him, blowing his ultimate. It's gonna get oh, disrupted quite literally. Well, that's 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 the end of that. Wax and it seems, Adrian, it seems yeah, like it, Leviathan are just out farming Kali at every turn. Yeah, and the kills that they're getting are way more valuable. <laughs> like this yeah. is eleven eight, but four thousand gold deficit disruption. A great counter to the flames, and uh, this is gonna be a safe oh, shadow the cookie demon. Whips. It was too late. Uh, Dyer's bottom tower is uh, under do they get the tower? Radiance no. Tower no. Is under they have a catapult. Yeah, they're not getting the tower. <laughs> this, uh, this, this this Faisal's void, by the way, is about to Holy die again. Holy the damage coming out onto that. Okay, you can just, uh, mug it off. He doesn't care. But I was about to say, he's about to get overtaken in farm by the Shadow Demon from Leviathan. Uh, yeah, that hasn't had a game. Like, uh, I guess that's why KP was like, listen, dude, I know Faceless Void can't lane into, da into me at all. Just pick me Dazzle. And they're like, okay. And now, I mean, it seems like it's really paying off, Wax. And this Dazzle really throwing a cog in the works of Kali. Yeah, by far um, the most suppressing uh, lane we've seen from uh, Leviathan has been this top lane on the back of KP's uh, Dazzle. Who is now pinging Adrian? Almost level 10. Oh my goodness, this Dazzle is so farmed. Dude, he... This Dazzle is a problem, man. It seems like every game will I have an answer that, or a question that needs to be answered. Did they have a glint? No, they don't have one. They used okay. it already. Well, yeah. They've brought five heroes into the mid lane. Kali, they're looking for a little bit more Stinger. He's the target. They do have the blade mail onto Faker, so he's going to use it immediately. The hook shot out onto Stoikov to get out of there. I'm going to take a stack, I guess, on the side of Kali, but that's basically getting the Chronosphere available. Alongside Snapfire Ultimate, if you want to use the kisses. But this is Adrian. He's going to get ulted. He is very slow. Can't really get out of there. The glimpse was used, and they have the kisses coming down. It's not gonna rain down enough. You can't kiss that one better. As Razor closed down and Faker now man fighting Stinger, but the pulverize out onto the side, doing a really nice job at separating supports from the team. And Faker doing anything, anything and everything. And get him scepter finished on KP at 13 minutes. This is the earliest Aghanim scepter I think I've seen in an offlane dazzle ever. He is so farmed. This is more than a problem. This is game losing, Waxen. I'm gonna be real with you, Plate, and everybody yeah. in the chat. I think this might be game. This is... I mean, Dazzle is uncontested. Well... Too far. Yeah, I... I... I, it wasn't even just the lane, but afterwards, Dad just wasted a lot of time around the map without farming or getting any XP. He's barely level 7. Radiant level 11, Dazzle. They're even get The Stoikov is even giving him the farm. They're treating this like a mid-Dazzle. That's how far ahead this guy is. They've, I think in their minds, they've swapped Stoikov over to a position 3, and they're not giving the farm priority over to KP. Yeah, and that is the luxury you have when you have when uh, you're running a lineup that had so much versatility. This primal beast does not need as much farm. It's just a simple thought of mind. A stinger, oh, with a sixth sense, hooking himself away. That that sounds that feels illegal. Well. I don't want to get into illegal talk when we're speaking about Leviathan, as oh we still we're barely getting level six uh, onto five five five. Hopefully, this static storm will 
prove a more impactful ultimate than the kisses have been because this snapfire oh. has already popped two kisses very underwhelming. I mean, dad, yeah, time block, he's gonna use it, he's gonna Front get up here? as well. Nice two man chrono with the he's kisses as well anyway. onto the back line. This is a lot of damage getting pumped out of the chrono. They're turning around onto KP, he's the target, they're gonna use everything they can to try to kill. But he's just Bash. gonna shallow grave TP on out of there. Nope. Nice Blame. glimpse, they finally get the big bad KP. Roll will not land out on the clockwork, but they get one pick off. That 9,000 gold lead has dwindled by a thousand. I, I mean, that's a good kill, but that's you need a little bit more than that. Well, it's the best kill. Yeah. And you use absolutely everything in your toolbox. You brought five heroes. Got got a kill on the important hero on the enemy team. Growing. This is also Adrian going for a safely razor build. He has a Yasha Windlace on top of a Raid Band. Um, okay, uh, a bit unexpected, I would say. Uh, hopefully, when Faker will get his hands in mid on the Spirit Vessel, which is gonna be in about 300 gold, uh, he might get some work down and maybe kill some of these support heroes easier. Even a Primal Beast might melt to the Spirit Vessel, plus some burst from the nukes of the supports and the Razor. Uh... Yeah, that's that's one option. Faker, spear vessel as well. One of those things that is so efficient. Well, you can just pick it up early and then play active around the map and get rewarded for it. It's a item that we normally supports build, but you no, know, the invokers and models of the world also build it as well. They set up that banish out onto the face onto the spore spirit. He's gonna die. The glimpse was used, it's not gonna do anything, and now that's another kill, that's three dead on the side of Kali. They just melted instantly. Leviathan coming back with a fury of vengeance of absolute yeah. destruction. That is what we were afraid of during the draft right plate. We talked about the, the reliance of long cooldowns. There's not much you can do when everything is in cooldown. Um, Adrian will get spotted, but Zephyr's just tanking this tower, okay? He has, has a blink dagger. <laughs> no chill for the tower, dude. He doesn't care. Waxen, what in the world can Kali do at this point? He needs a smoke and getting some more pickoffs with Faker. He has his vessel, only two charges in it. That's the secret answer. If you blow up all of your ultimates again for a team fight that you're gonna win, you're then gonna get punished again when everybody responds because of the low death timers. That's very, again, 17 and 11,000 gold lead on the side of Leviathan. You don't have money on your side uh, for experience. You don't have experience on your side either. What do, what does Kali have on their side actually? That's I think I think that's an important question. Do they have they have better team fight maybe? Yeah, they do, uh, but not when you're so under leveled and then when you face the foot is dead. You know, there used to be There's a guy fighting. right there. Uh, this primal beast is dying. Well, but that's like two static field work. out under one. They get the. Oh, I don't actually think you wanted to glimpse that guy. You might have wanted to kill, let him stay there and kill him. But they get the kill on the Stoikov. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So you know, nice, nice. No, so, yeah. I mean, the longer you stall, the higher chances of executing a uh, comeback team fight will be um, for the side of Kali. That was. <laughs> no, uh, Faker, doing a classic, I'm gonna TP out of here and uh, destroy the shadow team. It's like, why are you here? Well, Axon, there is Maelstrom finished on Faces Void 19 minutes. Yeah, he had it before he died, but you know, that's not really survivable. Uh, Stinger, he's gonna be the target of a four-man rotation coming around from Kali, but a nice save on the back Chrono. line. And Dad has used Chrono. They're gonna get the ultimate out, but the destruction save! Everything whips! And KP, he's got a, a grave available in seven seconds, but a team around him as well as Dad has to do everything he can. He's gonna go into the trees, but the damage is there. Both rise on top. Baker misses the stun as well. Time lapse into the tree line, trying to create some separation yeah. there. He's gonna die to the... Burst damage, the poison touch actually 
Baker gonna roll they're in. They're turning around. They're turning around onto Zephyr. He's dead. And the beautiful static field onto two. They're turning around onto Dazzle. They get the kill. Five by five, five. Playing this fight beautifully. Has a glimpse of the as well. But they get the kill. Stinger continuing in. Stinger gets to him out of there. And Kali looking to make a play happen. Adrian, he's too fast. Walks out of Light Strike away. It's two dead on the side of Leviathan. But Kali are, are four dead on the side of Leviathan. But Kali more than happy with the way that engagement played out. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I thought that was a complete and uh, absolutely overwhelming mistake from their side to re-engage after the Faceless Void died, but I'm glad to have been proven wrong as that was more than successful skirmish. They managed to overtake the fight. Uh, Sammy Boy took so long to join his team and in the end everybody else got punished including the big beefy Dazzle and Primal Beast. And, and now Razor's not that far behind, I mean... Yeah. What, 1,000 gold behind and they get just down 10,000 gold? Really not a lot. I think most of the gold lead just comes down to the fact that this void is worth less money than Shadow Demon. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is, this is good, and we see the impact that the Spirit Vessel has had uh, before the BKB is coming in. That's why I'm kind of questioning Stoikov fighting before getting his BKB. He was only 200 gold away in that team fight. He maybe they just should have been slightly more passive so that he can get his BKB and then go for a team fight. Radiant's I mean, tower is the team fighting is definitely still playing in favor of Kali, even though they're very far behind and 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 call an experience but that last fight they didn't uh leviathan didn't fight with lena's five before ended up playing to their advantage Radiant leviathan they're not one to happened. just sit back and, and do nothing even if they lost a fight or two they're coming into the short pit now Wax. wow yeah this is gonna probably prove to be a big issue for Kali, and they have the ultimate. I'm actually very disappointed that they don't have some vision over this Roshan because they would have been in a prime position to contest, and they're gonna smoke way too late. Uh, as Laviathan will smoke into them as well, and we're about to see a team fight that might prove to be disastrous for Kali. I mean, who has the Aegis? Can it be Lee? They have Centaur. They're gonna Chrono on the Primal Beast immediately. Faker not even gonna stun him, but the kiss is coming through. The disruption save BKB. as well. Nice glimpse taking the Shadow Demon out of the fight immediately. BKB used onto Adrian, trying his best and on the back line. KP, he's in a little bit of trouble. Faker's found the target. The Shadow Grave is gonna be there just in time. And the Magnet where is coming Lina? through. I don't know where Lena is. I think Lena might have gotten glimpsed. I'm not sure. But Adrian fighting Stinger now, trying his absolute best to man fight. The sun is going to come through, and Adrian will live. Meanwhile, they get the kill out onto the Snapfire, but I think Samson might have gotten. I'm not sure what happened to Samson. Where was he that whole fight? Unless he got glimpsed, like you said, there is no excuse for yet a second team fight when he doesn't even show up. The first team fight, he showed up late and he didn't have any impact. And now he showed up, didn't show up at all. He was the Aegis carrier. They lost another team fight. And that was the first nine second BKB. I was saying Stoikov is gonna have lots of impact with it, but not when he has to pop it with 400 HP to escape. I mean, uh, he did escape, so it's not like he used it and died. Got well, some value out I of guess. it, but. Where, where, where is, like, what is Samson, where is Samson that bad fight? He must have gotten glimpsed. I thought it was Zephyr that got glimpsed, but maybe Samson didn't TP into that fight. He doesn't have a TP scroll on him. I assume Samson, Samson had to walk Dyer's over to that engagement. Oh, he's, wait a second. He's alone. Uh, he's got the Shadow Demon in the back line. He's not. He's, he'll be safe. I, I believe 100% in that. Um, and also, we don't have Chrono. We don't have Kisses for another 10 seconds. Uh, he's going to okay, get rolled he... on. He's a safe 100%, you said. Adrian getting on top of him. But with the Telegram, they get the Silence out. Out of the Shadow Demon, there's not going to be safe. And they end up getting killed. But in the front, there's a big bad man pulverizing Pamplona. Pamplona dies first. 555 trying to TP out. There's absolutely no way in hell you're getting out of this one. They get the Aegis, lose three heroes, and Kali, they're going to lose their Tormentor as well. 
What are these team fights? He has an Aegis. Everybody has respawned. You don't have a Chronosphere. Why? You had an 8 second BKB and Razor and you thought you could take this? Like, you can see that Lina has got her BKB other than the Aegis. Uh, that was... No, I hated that. I absolutely... That was a disgusting team fight from Kali. You should just just given up the tier 2 tower and waited for the Chrono. Now, now that Selena Samson has built more of a lead... Hold on, I thought time lapse. Time walk forward. Samson a half HP. They're looking for more. There's a roll available in one second. They're gonna find this guy. The slowest heading out onto it as well. But he unshot it himself into the chrono. Now you're the target, but they're turning around. The kisses are coming through. Samson turning around on a dad. Dad dies immediately. The grave is there onto Samson. Samson trying his absolute best to stay alive. still alive. And he will. KP healing him up. He's gonna get slowed down by a shadow grave. There's an LSA. He done. does have grave if he's gonna be fine, but uh, uh, Stoikov wants a little bit more. The glimpse out a small under Stoikov. Baker dies. Samson has too many saves on the back line, and Kali had to escape. No Chronosphere available for them. No kisses available for them. But 555, they're continuing forward. The blink forward onto Stoikov with the onslaught as well. Is there a glimpse available? Can he save himself? 555, yes, he has the one glimpse. And Kali are staying. Adrian wants this kill on Samson. The BKB has been used. The damage is stolen. And Samson dies. An absolutely ridiculous turnaround play. Adrian trying his best, but a beautiful hot shot between the wickets. Gets the kill under Razor and Pamplona. He's getting chased down by three heroes. The shallow, I mean, KP doing the damage with the poison touch, but one right click from Stoikov heals the deal, and Kali lose three for the price of one again, or four for the price of one. Sorry, as Faces Void died at the start of that fight. Yeah, but that was a uh, Sam, uh, Sammy Boy mega kill streak. So in the end, they ended up trading equally. If we can take a quick look at the fight recap, which was absolutely insane. Uh, with that being said, uh, up until uh, about five seconds ago. Zephyr on the Shadow Demon was out networking uh, the Faceless Void of Dad. Uh, I think Baker has just accepted the fact that he's dead. I mean, haven't we all accepted that we're gonna die one day, my friend? Well, the <laughs> existential looming amount of death is making me want to play Daz, so and maybe I just keep shallow graving myself over and over again. Do you believe that the performance from KP this game is going to make us see more Dazzle for the reminder of EPL? I think, I think a uh, hero or people might look at it. Oh my goodness, Dazzle just got stunned. His TP got cancelled from an angel creep. 555, he's gonna be the target. The Greaves are there to keep him alive. As the stack field, if he wants to use it, there's a dive happening out of the back line. But they get the kill out on a Razor. And now we're looking at Stoikov between two tier 4 towers. Taking so much damage. I mean, there are four heroes dead on the side of Kali out of nowhere. What the pop? Well, Chronosphere doesn't have any damage. He's just tickling this dazzle, and Hustle Bash is gonna come in, but he's dying to the Shadow Wave. Oh and the Spear is gonna come in in time. The Shadow Wave the is there. It's a single... Dude, the KP is alive. Is alive. Okay, he dies finally. I think he died to Dive Tylation. Oh dead. my goodness. Found a demon getting the kill. Baker has arrived, trying to get something in return. Zephyr has absolutely no money left in the tank. Has the egg in the center pain with pulverized. Biggie Me Piercing Sun gets the kill. It's a full team life for on the I mean Holly get team life and all they got was a dazzle. Look at the net worth. I don't want to look at the net worth. I mean I'm looking at it. Zephyr right now for taking both of them. Uh, Adrian with the last hurrah, giving his life to Sammy Boy and Stinger. Pamplona not gonna come in in time. Static Storm gonna connect to a BKB Lina. And we're about to see game as Kisses get instantly interrupted. Double Cogs running into it back and forth for the third time. Triple kill for Sammy Boy as we see Kali with the back towards the wall, almost falling asleep at the grave. But I think they're gonna give us one more shot. Chrono gonna be off cooldown in one minute alongside the rest of the spells. You need to chrono the back line. No, you need to chrono five people while they're in your fountain and the fountain's hitting all of them. Yes. <laughs> I think that is the winning condition currently. Dude, what in the world does Holly do? Oh, the blink pulverized out onto Faker. He has a roll, but he's gonna get stunned up with the onslaught. He rolls out out of there. 
Nice play. Will live. Zephyr. Dude, this support shouted demon has an egg interceptor blink finish. This support shouted demon has almost as much. I mean, he's like neck and neck with the enemy carry who built a farming item and has been AFK farming this whole game. This is one of the reasons why we see Shadow Demon banned essentially every single time during the first ban phase. We also see Stoikov jumping in and just pulverizing the yeah. poor Disruptor into his grave. But that's fine, Disruptor has a 45 second uh, cooldown. Somehow still has money for buyback, but look at Samson smoked oh, up. Hook shot gonna come in! Nice hook shot with the LSA as well. The damage there, the Gleipnir. This poor grandma can't give you a cookie good enough to heal yourself out of that one. And the right click's coming through from Samson. He's doing so much damage. Has the Daedalus finish up the hex out onto the Earth Spirit. Faker, he's gonna pop his BKB down with the Chrono. Misses! And now with that BKB trying his absolute best to deal the damage, but he's speared up as well. I mean, it's an ultra kill for Samson. You know they're looking to give it to him. They want to give him the Rampage. He gets it. GG's gonna get called in like 10 seconds here, Waxen. This was a full... Just slacking from Leviathan and Kali, they have lost this series, which means that they are done. They are out of the group stage. They are not going to make the playoffs. Good game. Well played, Leviathan, despite starting off quite slow yesterday, losing 2-0 versus Beast Ghost today. They showed up to play. They still have a chance in this one. Uh, currently find themselves 1-1, one one, unlike Kali, like, as you mentioned, will get eliminated. Leviathan will be in this one for a little while longer, at least with a chance at the playoffs. As we see, um, Sammy Boy, despite some early mistakes uh, throughout the mid game with the late rotates he was farming away you know when you play your games and your carry shouts at you don't fight don't fight i'm fight i'm farming you sometimes gotta listen to him because sammy boy definitely knew what he was doing in the end uh 24k net worth uh 7 000 almost more than the second hero on the server a uh, 15 4 and 7 uh, great great all around performance especially towards the later portions of the game from him yeah and you have to give it Shout out to well in that off lane just making it so that the spaces void dad had literally zero game impact. That damage dealt was less than ten thousand. He did the least amount of damage in the game. And I mean Leviathan just had a playbook, they stuck to it, they shut all the important heroes from Polly down in game one and game two and secured themselves a clean 2-0 win. That's three points. Critical three points as standings, of course, our next series is going to be Vita Plur versus Infinity in Group B. Very important series as Vita Plur look to get another few points in Infinity, trying to maintain the stranglehold.